Hello everyone, uh, my name is Newton Okewoye. I would like to show you some tricks in solving some math problems that might look very difficult or impossible to solve. I have a number of them that I share with my students in class based on what I teach them. So if you are in eighth grade or you have learned or gone through eighth grade in school, you expect it to be able to solve most of the questions that I'm gonna show you today, um, it's just a matter of you trying to be able to uh, solve them. So the very first question that I am gonna present, and you're gonna get more of these kinds of videos over time, is a question that looks like this. What is the last digit of 2 to the power of 2019. So you get a question like this and you go, how do they expect me to know what the last digit would be if 2 is raised to the 2019th power or 2 to the 2019th? Um, now that might be a tough question, but it is not an impossible question. It's very easy to solve if you have learned your rules of exponents. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the quick trick to solve this. And then there's so many other questions. I'll give you one question also to try after you have learned how to solve this. So let's go ahead and um, solve this. I just wanna make sure this video is recording so I have not wasted all this precious time. Give me a second. We're good. Okay, so. Every time you get a question like this, I've seen other questions that look like this. You might get a question that says, what is the last digit when um, three is raised to the 374th power? You know, questions like this. You wonder, how are they, how am I supposed to know? Now there's, there's this method of solving math, which is called um, iteration, okay? Uh, you, just, you just need to list out you, you start from what you know, and you can predict what you don't know. So we're going to start from what we know and get to what we don't know. So let's see what we know based on this question. And then you can apply the principle to solving any other question that you come across. So the first one, we know that 2 to the first power is going to be 2. That's 2 by itself. And then 2 to the second power will be the same thing as 2 times 2, which gives us 4, and the last digit of your answer is 4. Let's try 2 to the third power. It's going to give us 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. That gives us 8. Now, the last digit is 8. Let's move on to 2 to the fourth power. That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that gives us 16. However, the last digit is just 6. So we don't want to care about the 1 because we're dealing with the last digit. That's the question. So the next thing to do is 2 to the 5th power. It gives us 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Your answer is 32. Um, the last digit is 2. If you make an observation, it looks like we've gone back to this 2. Well, let's see if we're right. Let's move on and do 2 to the 6th power. That's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. If you use your calculator or you just multiply this by 2, your answer is going to be 64. Now, the last digit, again, is 4. So we've gone to 2, 4. We can predict that the next last digit is going to be 8. And if that's the case, looks like we're trying to find the rule. We have found the rule. It's going to be 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 4. The next one should be 8. Well, we can easily find that out. If you multiply 64 by 2, which gives you 2 to the 7th, your answer should be 128. The last digit is 8. If you go 2 to the 8th power, you get, you got it, 256. That's the answer. So you see that there is a cycle of four digits that keep repeating, okay? 
the four digits keep repeating and we have the cycle of two, four, six, two, four, eight, excuse me, two, four, eight, six, two, four, eight, six, and the cycle repeats again too, like that. So there is a cycle of four digits repeating. Every cycle has four digits. That's the secret. So with that, all you have to do is say how many cycles of four. You see, this is it. You start from one, two, three, four. By the time you get to 2019, you've done a cycle of four and four and four. How many cycles of four will you get in 2019? That's the beauty of the question. You just come over here, get rid of this. Ooh. Now we've got 2019 will have many cycles of four. If you want to know how many cycles you're going to get, you just divide this by four. If you divide this by four, your answer is going to be five, zero, and four is at the end. What's left? There's gonna be three left. So there's a remainder of three. Now, when you divide 2019 by four, you have a remainder of three. You see this cycle, these complete cycles of four will always go one, two, three, four. When you start another cycle, one, two, three, four. So you're gonna do that 504 times. When you get to the very last time, when you get here, this another cycle is going to start. So this is the 504th cycle. Let's assume this is the 504th cycle. So this is the 504th cycle, and then a new cycle starts, but it has three. So it would be one, two, this is the third in the next cycle, and this is where we're going to stop. That tells us that the last digit in this cycle is eight. The last digit of two raised to the power of 2019 is eight. We found it. That's it. That's it. The third digit in the cycle is eight. And Therefore, the last digit of 2 to 2019. Whoops! We found the answer. Okay, now let's test it on another number. Just a random number. You see, I'm just going to pick a number and do something interesting. You can do it too. You know what? Take a pause. Try it. Pause this video and tell yourself what is the last digit of three to the power of, let's just say 147. See, that's easy. Three to the power of 147. It's quick. All you have to do is create your cycle. See how, how long the cycle is. So I'm gonna go three to the first equals three, three to the second equals nine, three to the third equals 27, and three to the fourth equals 81, and three to the fifth equals 243. Okay, so my digits have gone from three, nine, seven, one, it goes back to three. So it's another cycle of four, you see? So the cycle is three, nine, seven, one. Okay, that's my cycle. So the next thing to do is basically um, go back to the original question. I'm just going to erase this. Okay. Oh, we're done. We're done here. Okay. So three, one, four, three to the power one, four, seven, two, 
will give us, excuse me, will give us um, a cycle. The cycle is four. So how many fours will we get in 147? The number of cycles will be uh, number of cycles will be 147 divided by four. And that gives us four and 14 up. That's a three, leaving me with the two and the 27. Four and 27 is 24. Ooh, that's another one, okay? It leaves it with a remainder of three. If there's a remainder of three, the last digit has to be the third digit in that cycle. And that, cycle, that number is seven. This is my answer. This is my answer. This is my answer. Okay, um, I hope you learned something today. There are so many other tricks. See, listen, you don't have to be a super math genius to solve all of these. You can see it's very easy for you. If you've been through eighth grade, this is not a tough question. This is an easy question, okay? Don't underestimate yourself. And do everything you can every day to learn something new. Because he who has stopped learning has stopped living. Don't stop learning. So I'll see you in my next video. And in my next video, I will be showing you another wonderful trick with the laws of exponents. Until then, have a great time. Once again, my name is Newton Okwaye. Have a good time. Bye.